Hello everybody, Samantha Gernhart here with Clarity Marketing and Design. And this week's tips is about why I love WordPress so much. Let's get started. First of all, let me introduce myself as I have not been doing that in my other videos. My name is Samantha Gernhart. I am the owner of Clarity Marketing and Design. I've been in business for 14 years. This summer will be my 15th year in business. I specialize in marketing, web, and graphics. Those would be my three main categories and then everything that falls into those sections. My background in education is marketing management, applied web development, and graphic courses. I currently live in Brantford. I grew up in Ontario and then I lived in BC for about 17 years and a little bit throughout BC. And now we're back in Brantford. And I'm a busy mom to three kids who are all at home right now. <laughs> okay, so before I talk about why I love WordPress, I think I need to maybe explain what WordPress is, even though it is very popular, it's heavily used, but just in case for those people who don't quite know what WordPress is. So WordPress is a free open source content management system. Now you might be like, what? So let's break that down free open source. It is free to download, to install, and use. You don't have to pay for WordPress itself. And then the content management system means you can update and maintain your website without having to learn code. And if you know a little bit, then that's great, but it's not necessary. Top five reasons I love WordPress. One, it's a coder's playground. Two, it has hundreds of themes and plugins. Three, it's really user friendly. Four, endless support. And five, it can grow with your business. So let's dive deeper into each of these. So it's a coders playground. So my background is in coding. I went to BCIT down in the Burnaby and Vancouver area and took courses for the Applied Web Development Certificate in HTML, CSS, PHP, JavaScript, XML, Flash Action Script at that time. Everyone wanted, you know, Flash websites. So I code. And at that time, we had to hand code the websites. And I don't know how, I don't remember how I came onto WordPress, but once I found it, it was great because at that time also, we could really customize WordPress. We really had access to the code and I could customize it completely for people. And it was my playground and it was great when it came to taking columns out, putting columns in, or I want it this, I want it there. We could do that. So for coders, WordPress was awesome. It has hundreds of themes and plugins. Themes is a template. So a lot of other um, website builders or CMS, they call them templates. WordPress calls them themes. It's your layout, the functionality, the design. And plugins is what I refer to as what an app is to an iPhone. It's added stuff. So a plugin could be a contact form, gallery, all those kind of things. So it's not really anything I can't do for a client. Shopping carts, that's a plugin. Galleries, that's a plugin. Content forms, and it goes on. You name it, it's probably already out there. It can be installed, sometimes a little tweaked if needed, and then you've got that added functionality that you were looking for. Most of them are free. There are some that do cost, but not a lot. And usually the ones that cost, it's worth it. Basically, the possibilities are almost endless. It is user friendly. And that's what I love about WordPress that I can create a website and train my client after so that they can go in and change that sentence, change that price, upload a blog. Where before all of this, if they wanted to change anything on their website, I had to do it right down to the period right down to a, a comma, everything. We had to do it manually. So now I can give them some training. I record a video kind of like this and I share it with them and I show them exactly, okay, click on this and click on that and upload this so that they feel comfortable going in afterwards. 
to maintain it, to at least be able to change a, a paragraph, a sentence, add a product in, and so on. And I would say if you can use email or Word, you can use WordPress. Endless support. Uh, there is so many forums, uh, how-tos, tutorials. There's a lot. So anytime that I get stumped, and yes, even after 15 years, there are times where I get stumped and I can't figure out why that's not working or how to make it work, I can find a solution. Either it's already been someone's problem that they've posted and got uh, comments and replies and was able to successfully fix it, or it was through the theme or the plugin where that person who created it can comment back and tell me how to fix it or what was going on. So there's a whole online community of users, developers, and programmers surrounding WordPress to help support it. It can grow with your business. And I always say this to people, even to this day, I just finished one where I said that to her, where I said, hey, down the road, you want to get your logo on some swag and put it on your website, we can do that. Or if down the road you want a blog, you can do that. Add more pages, services, it can grow with your business. And to even freshen it up, you can find a new theme and install it. It still takes a bit of customization, but you're not starting from scratch every time. WordPress keeps your pages, your posts, your media. You don't lose all that content that's already on there. We're just refreshing it with a new theme. We set up the home page, and there you go. So you can start off with a little website where it has a couple pages of content, and down the road, add your services, add your products, shipping, connect it to your MailChimp, grow your blog. There's just so many things it can do, and it can definitely grow with your business as your business grows. Well, that's about it for this. Feel free to connect with me if you have any questions, if you want to know more about WordPress. In the next couple of weeks, I am going to be putting together an online course to teach people how to make their own web, WordPress website. Yes, it is doable. Technically, you can make your own WordPress website. It can be time consuming though, because there is a lot of information out there where for people who do it every day, it happens a little quicker. But I have taught a course at a couple of colleges and online of how to teach people how to make their own WordPress website and it's very popular. And so I'm in the middle of doing that again, uh, refreshing it, getting up to date with the technology. So stay tuned, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, you will see an online course which will be similar to this, where I show you exactly how to make your own WordPress website step-by-step. -step. In the meantime, feel free to connect and stay tuned. Bye.